Welcome to my video review of the Walken Book 10.1 inch tablet computer. This is a hybrid design so you can use it either as a tablet or with the supplied keyboard. I'll just quickly show you what you get included in the box with this. You have a basic quick start guide. There is a micro USB cable here. This has a slightly longer tip than normal. You have a UK 3 pin charging plug adapter onto the main tablet here 10.1 inches with an IPS display and you also get a case which doubles up as the keyboard this has a magnetic closing on that and it has a standard QWERTY keyboard on that as well the connections on the top are the power button here we have headphone socket that's a mini HDMI so you can plug it into a TV micro SD slot, there's a micro USB, a standard USB, that's quite important because that allows you to attach other normal USB devices like hard drives and pen drives and we have a DC in for the adapter and a microphone port here. Top section we have two speaker grills and there is the volume control here. On the bottom we have the connectors for the keyboard and the two holes where it slots in looking at the screen it's actually quite good it's an IPS panel we have a resolution of 1280 by 800 so it's sort of semi HD um, at this price level you're not going to get a full HD it's a bit reflective there is a cover on here which has a couple of little bubbles on it perhaps that wasn't done 100% at the factory you can take that off if you want that's not a huge issue uh, in terms of contrast and colour reproduction it's actually pretty good I don't think anybody's going to be unhappy with it in that regard Taking a closer look at the keyboard, you'll notice we have a USA layout, there is no UK pound sign, but that's probably not going to be a big problem for most people. You'll see a function button here, and some of the keys are marked in blue, so you have dual functions for media and volume, etc. Bottom here you have a touchpad, just as you would with a laptop, and the two alternate buttons here. And we have three LEDs for caps and number lock, etc. Now you might wonder why you'd want the number lock, it's some of the keys here can be used as a number pad so if you press the number lock here with the function you can use this as a number pad here. On this part here you'll see there are contacts and there are some lugs here that is where the tablet slots into and that's magnetic as well. Now when you put the tablet into the keyboard it snaps in place quite firmly as you see it's pulling itself in there and it's it's a pretty good fit actually I'm quite impressed with the design on that it holds quite snugly it doesn't fall out and it goes straight in there there's no jiggling around at all on the back part you'll see we have a slightly unusual design here it's kind of folded in places the idea behind this is you can use it as a normal case or if you want to turn it into a stand these two sections are magnetic so they clip together flip it open like that and then you have a built-in stand and it's quite stable actually it's pretty good I think it's quite a clever design and it, it works pretty well actually the only thing is it's just one position you can't adjust the height on that now the tablet comes preloaded with Windows 10 it's already activated and licensed so you don't need to do anything with that you'll notice it pretty much looks exactly the same as you would on a laptop or a desktop PC there are some differences for example it will auto detect when you've taken it off and again when it's re-engaged the keyboard as it's Windows 10 you can switch quite quickly between a normal layout as you would get on a desktop or a laptop and the tablet mode which is similar to Windows 8.1 you can see the differences there generally I'd leave it in the normal mode but the tablet could be useful if you're just using this section on its own now you also have a camera on this model front and back so you can use it for web chats and for taking photos and the cameras are actually pretty good um, in terms of the performance in low light I'm quite impressed with them actually they do really well obviously there's a bit of noise showing up in very low light conditions with which this is at the minute but um, the pictures are quite clear and whereas a lot of um, budget laptops would have fairly poor cameras that would be very dim this one actually does quite a good job so I'm fairly impressed with that side of it here I've opened up the task manager just to show you the processor 
the Atom runs at anything from 1.33 up to about 1.83 gigahertz and the speed varies depending on what it's doing it ramps right down if it's not doing anything memory wise you have two gigabyte of RAM with this and that's okay I'm using just under 800 megabytes of a couple of windows open not doing much so two gigabytes is fine for normal tasks on Windows 10 you won't really have any huge problems with it um, it's more than comfortable enough in a way that one gigabyte netbooks and laptops weren't a few years ago it's quite efficient with the memory so you shouldn't have any problems with that Summing up for me with the Walken Book 10.1 inch tablet computer, overall I think it's a pretty good deal for the price. Um, I'm quite happy with the responsiveness of the hardware and the cameras are quite good. I was also fairly happy with the sound with the speakers on the top. Um, it's better than I'd expect for a tablet. Battery life was about five and a half to six hours. You might get a bit more out of that if you're doing less intensive activities, so I was fairly happy with that. Weaker points for me would be the small tip on the charging point I would certainly consider um, changing that design a little bit if I was the maker or if they offered the ability to charge via the micro USB port on the side I also liked the integrated case and stand and I thought that worked quite well um, there's been a bit of thought put into the design um, so even though it's at a level of super budget laptops it's um, possibly worthy of consideration if you need the tablet functionality and the ability to use it as a laptop as well. The only downside with devices like this is that the storage space is limited so you will really need to get um, a micro SD card and put one in the side, perhaps about 64 gigabyte or something like that.